Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kind of Crafty Kenzie. I am Kenzie. My channel has everything to do with DIYing, crafting, turning trash to treasure, thrift flips, repurposing, upcycling, and some shopping hauls. Basically anything to do with home decor on a budget. So if that is something you love, you are in the right place. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Join my little crafty family. Put a little Kenzie in your day. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. It really helps my channel grow and I appreciate it so, so much. In today's video, I am bringing you lots and lots of Dollar Tree farmhouse DIYs that you can use in different parts of your home. And I am so excited to show you how simple these are. So let's go. For this first DIY, I grabbed this rectangular wood block that I actually got from the Dollar Tree. And I was so excited to find this because I normally don't find the cool stuff at my Dollar Tree. Then I went ahead and I did use some of these um, little half wood beads that I get from Amazon. They are linked in my Amazon store, which is in my description box below. So just go ahead and click that link. It'll take you to my storefront and click on wood items and it will take you to these little half beads. They come in multiple sizes. So I just grabbed like the middle size cause I didn't have enough of like the biggest size. I only had three and that would be kind of wonky. So I did use Dollar Tree super wood glue and a little bit of hot glue to go ahead and attach those little feet to or those little beads to the bottom of um, the little um, wood block <laughs> because we're going to make a riser. So now those are like little feet. So as you can see, then I went ahead and covered this entire piece with a good coat of white chalk paint. Uh, I only did one coat and then I did go ahead and go back and sand over the edges with my sandpaper to get, like kind of bring that natural wood tone through. Then I grabbed this little stencil that I actually have have had for a really long time. Um, I got it from Walmart and it's made by Plaid. And I can't link it, but it's like the farmhouse style. So there's all kinds of different farmhouse um, stencils in it and they're really, really large. But I thought this was really cool to like give it like a neat pattern. And I really love the way that it looked. So after I had that all done and it dried, I went ahead and Mod Podged over it because I thought you could use this at your kitchen sink for like a little riser to maybe put like your hand soap on or something. But unfortunately, even though I let the paint dry for a very long time, we're talking hours upon hours, that Mod Podge still grabbed it and it still bled. But I think it just gave it more of a rustic look, so I'm rolling with it. But you guys will have to let me know what you think about this one down below. Forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. I want to take a moment and thank today's video sponsor, the Allure Store, for sending me this queen size Japanese arc chill cooling blanket. This blanket is amazing. I was so excited when they reached out to me to try this because I've always wanted to try a cooling blanket. It is, I can't even describe it, you guys. It is literally the best thing since like sliced bread. So this has actually completely replaced my comforter and my sheet on my bed because it is literally just enough blanket. It has this really smart built-in technology somewhere in its little blanket brain that when your body heats up it lets your he body heat escape and then within a few moments you can literally feel the blanket cooling you down it's like a heating pad but in reverse without the electric it is the neatest thing i've ever ever had ever so <laughs> i highly recommend this you guys especially if you're a hot sleeper even in the winter i love to run a fan so if you and your partner kind of fight over the temperature of the room or the blankets this is an absolute lifesaver and um can i also add that not only does this blanket give me a nice sweatless uh restful night's sleep but it also releases jade nanoparticles which help to maintain skin moisture and elasticity uh, ladies, yes, please. So I am so in love with it. I don't know if I told you guys, but it's completely versatile and easy to uh, clean, just machine washable. As you can see, it's made from 100% Egyptian cotton. 
and it has all kinds of different colors and sizes. My kids are already after me for one. Their website also features pillowcases, sheets, and a whole bunch of other little things for your home. So definitely check them out. Their website is linked in my description box below along with a discount code. So you guys don't miss out. You will not regret it. For this next one, I am just going to grab this tag sign from the Dollar Tree. This is from their nautical collection, but I grabbed a couple of these when I saw them because I love the shape of that, how large it is, and I really like the how the hole is really large as well. Um, the front side is covered with like a cork board, which would be really handy if you wanted to do something where you could like, you know, put like little push pins through or something. But I obviously didn't want to, so I took my scraper and scraped all that off, but we're going to just skip over that, flip it over on the back, and go ahead and paint that with white chalk paint, and continue on. <laughs> so after it was all nice and painted, I did go ahead and grab this um, washer that I have, and I just painted it with my black chalk paint, and then I'm just going to super glue it down over top of that little hole, because I just think it makes a nice finished look, and I really love doing this. And like I said, I was really excited that this was like an extra large hole. Normally the holes aren't this big. So then I went ahead and just sanded over the edges of this tag just to kind of bring out that wood tone look and down through like the face of it. And then I printed out on my Cricut the word bathhouse and a cute little like boy girl restroom sign you'll see here in a second. I was going to put water closet because it's like super farmhouse to me like water closet or bathhouse but Technically, there's also a bathtub in there, so it's more of a bathhouse versus just a water closet. I don't know. I just wanted to steer away from bathroom or restroom, obviously, but I really thought this was super cute. Then I went over the vinyl with some white chalk paint to give it that nice distressed look. Used a little bit of black twine that I got from burlapfabric.com and went ahead and... Uh, strung like a little ha hanger up and that's it for this one so you guys will have to let me know what you think about this one For this next DIY, this is a cutting board that does come from Dollar Tree. I had just already painted it. I painted it about two years ago and decided that I didn't like it anymore, so we're going to repurpose it. So I just went over the entire thing front and back with white chalk paint and then I let it dry. Um, then I grabbed this little... Um, yeah, that's a crate. <laughs> and this crate technically did come from Michael's, but you can get it from Dollar Tree as well. So it's still under a dollar for this little crate. Then I went ahead and just added those little tacks. And I actually got those from Hobby Lobby. And you wouldn't have to add those. You could totally just use like paint or something to give like that little um, nail look. But I just went ahead and used those since I have them. Then I covered the entire crate in... Um, chalk paint called French linen from home decor and then I went back over those little tacks with my finger sander which is also listed in my Amazon store then I just hot glued the little crate down to the cutting board and I made it to where it would sit up like sit flat so I kept the little crate pretty flush with the bottom of the cutting board then, as you can see, I printed off Farmhouse Kitchen on my Cricut and went ahead and attached it to the cutting board. I came back in with some black paint and went back over those little tacks just because I wanted to give the little um, crate like a little bit more of like a color pop because it was pretty bland in coloring. I did sand over them just slightly to give them a little bit of a distressed look and bring that metal through, but let the majority, you know, left them pretty black. Then I went back over that vinyl with a little bit of white chalk paint and then went over the little crate with some white chalk paint as well. I decided then to go back in with a little bit of black chalk paint and go over that crate to make it look nice and distressed like the rest of it and I thought it was really cool how all those colors just kind of meshed together. Uh, I went pretty lightly, I didn't want to get crazy but I just, you know, just gave that little crate a little bit more color. Then I did go ahead and paint another one of these little washers and attached it um, to the top of the little cutting board and just gave it that nice finished look and also put a little black on all that white. I did take some more of that black twine that I have and make another little hanger for it. I kept it pretty small because like I said, you could hang this or you could totally sit this on your counter. So whichever you would want to do, it's completely you know up to you, but I just wanted to add a little 
flair to it, I guess. So then I thought it would be kind of cute to put something in the little crate. So I took some salt and pepper shakers and from the Dollar Tree. You can get two of them for a dollar twenty-five now. But then I just printed out an S and a P off of my Cricut and just simply attached it to the front of this. I did not paint these at all that way you could totally use them and you wouldn't have to like you know put salt and pepper shakers in there you could put whatever you wanted in there but i thought that that was pretty cute I interrupt these adorable DIYs being made to make a quick public service announcement. I need to thank all of my awesome subscribers for all of your love and support, tuning in and watching my videos, leaving inspiring and uplifting and just downright sweet comments. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I could not and would not be here without y'all. And all of my newcomers today, a welcome to my channel. My name is Mackenzie, aka Kenzie. I am a stay-at-home mom to three little girls, and I am from a tiny, tiny rural town in Pennsylvania. As you can see, I am absolutely obsessed with crafting and DIYing, and if that is something you love, which I assume it is because you are here, you are going to love it here. So don't forget to subscribe before you go. Turn your bell notification on so you never miss an upload. I also want to let you guys know that I am over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook, and all of my links are in my description box, the bio of my channel, and in in the next video slide coming up. I would love if you come follow me over on Instagram because I'm able to interact with you guys a lot more. I share a little bit more about my personal life and I love to see any DIYs that I have inspired you to recreate and put your own spin on it. I now return you to your regular scheduled program. For this next one, I'm just gonna use this cute little ironing board laundry room sign that I did pick up from the Dollar Tree last year. Um, I went ahead and removed those little clothespins that were on there and then I took some of that paper off but just ended up covering it. But we're going to go ahead and flip it over and fill in those holes with some spackle that I also get from the Dollar Tree. Then I did give this two good coats of the white chalk paint. Then I went ahead and just printed out some cute little laundry sign things, <laughs> decals, whatever you want to call them on my Cricut. A little laundry sign with like the hanger and then like all these like little laundry accessories like the clothes. Um, the laundry baskets and hangers, etc. So you guys can see what's going on there. I thought they were really cute and all I did was um, type in laundry room on my Cricut Design Space and brought those, they blip blip, it all came right up. Then I just measured out the center so I could drill a little hole and use some more of that black twine to make a little hanger so that this can hang up. I really love this because I think it's cute. I like that I took it vertical instead of horizontal. Um, so I'm really digging this one a lot, but you guys, of course, let me know what you think. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything is complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I dance around, I can't help but feel it. For the last DIY of this video, I am just going to use these four little cube wood blocks that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm also going to use my super wood glue again. And I just took a craft stick, dumped some glue on the block as you can see, and just spread that around like butter on bread. Then I went ahead and added a little bit of hot glue in there just to adhere right now. The super wood glue adheres super, super fast, but I wanted to make sure that it was going to stick like right now for video purposes. So that's why I added the hot glue. And then I did set this aside for like five or 10 minutes before I went ahead and painted it. So I did go ahead and give this about two coats of white chalk paint and got really good coverage all over it. After that, I went ahead and printed out 
the word home on my Cricut, but instead of using a traditional O, I decided to replace that with a little house. You'll see it here in a moment, there we go. And I just went ahead and placed that in the middle where the O would be, and then went ahead with the rest of the letters. I thought it looked a little naked, so I decided to tie a uh, little twine bow with that black twine that I've been using the whole video, but I still thought it needed a little something something, so I went ahead and grabbed a couple eucalyptus picks that I have from Walmart, just a couple sprigs off of those picks, and I just went ahead and attached them to the top and then attached my bow on top of them. Then my daughter was in my shed with me and she told me it looked like Pippi Longstocking, so I decided to go ahead and trim those little eucalyptus pieces down, add that little flower that fell off of something. I just kind of pulled it out of my little flower bin, glued it there in the middle to kind of cover up that twine and where those little eucalyptus picks like come together. Then I added a couple more in the back, trimmed up that black twine, and that is it for this one. Just a nice, simple, sleek, black and white, farmhouse home sign that you could put on a tear tray, you could put on a shelf, you could put it wherever you want, but I thought it turned out really nice and it was ridiculously inexpensive to make. So that's it for the video today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed all of these traditional black and white Dollar Tree farmhouse DIYs. Like I said, they couldn't get much cheaper than that and I think they all turned out really nice and they were so, so easy to make. So I hope that you guys liked it. Give it a big things, blah, blah. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. And as always, thank you for being the best subscribers in the world and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye y'all.